Well, but another year's gone by, and the great excuse I have is I can't talk about any patients because I have no memory apart from I can't even remember yesterday, yet alone today. But I do always remember the badgers, my beautiful badgers. We had quite a, a busy year with badgers this year, didn't we? And we yeah. had four or five cases which particularly stand out. Which ones stand out to you most? Well, certainly the first ones for me were the, the two tiny babies that we had in, the youngest badgers I've ever seen. What a trial it was to get them through to release, and sadly we only managed to get one of them through, but one is... You won't have that growth better. on his side, didn't you? They were found in a swimming pool, weren't they? They were escalated yes. swimming pool. And they dug them up, and these two little badgers. So there's obviously a family there, some are probably more, but mm. to get those in quite early in the year, they were quite tiny. February, yeah, it was in very early. Yeah. the next one to join? Um, well, the next big one that I remember was the, the one that was um, had to have the tail amputation. Oh, that's right. And it came in all covered in fly eggs, was in an absolutely terrible state, and mm. none of us thought he would make it the first day, but he proved us wrong. There was more than the tail, though, wasn't there? There was a lot of other stuff going on, so yeah. we didn't actually recognise the tail to start with. We, we knew it wasn't right, but there was lots of other stuff going on. Well, as he well. was completely collapsed, and he had fly eggs all over him, maggots all over him. It took four people a couple of hours to get all those maggots off him. Um, all that work, and then. Um, yeah, he just went from strength to strength once he had the tail removed. Yeah, the tail was quite nasty. It suddenly got much worse, didn't it? It all went, went sort necrotic, of yeah. necrotic and horrible. But Christina did a really good job of You didn't doing think it. she was going to do that, did you? You thought it I wasn't going to work. I didn't think it was possible because yeah. it was so high up. Sure. Yeah, it's amazing what happened with him. And uh, to see him now being released and and also see him on the footage, you can spot who he is because he's got no Look tail. Out. The only one without a tail. Yeah. one that was intent on dying for weeks really. We did and that was um, the little female badger that came in really really anemic. Her red blood cells were practically nothing. I mean how she was even alive is beyond me and what she needed was a blood transfusion but we didn't have the ability to do that so what we actually gave her was oxyglobin which um, to our knowledge was the first time it's been used in a badger. And yeah, it was absolutely amazing. Without that, she would have died. It turned around quite quickly, didn't she it? Did. I mean, she, for about, I think it was over a week, we were just thinking she was going to die. And as soon as she had the oxyglobin, she was brighter, she felt stronger, she was breathing better, and she started eating really quickly afterwards. Oh, look, you're free. You smell those worms. Yes. Look, your new home. Here you go, that's the front door. Yeah. Ah. I'm in. What was the next one after that? Uh, the next one was a big rescue by you, which was the football net badger, which you yeah. did a solo rescue on. Yeah, you don't solo rescue badgers when they're no. biting. It's a bit, bit iffy, that one. And I remember um, it, and I only had a GoPro with me, so we did, it was all quite tricky. And it was, it's funny with that, because I remember the rescue. The guy had his football net in the garden. He left it down. The badger obviously went into it. The mum had come back to try to find the baby and had been with the baby. Oh, really? and you could see all the scuffing round and round where she tried to dig it out. Oh. Um, and he was just screaming his head off. I mean, screaming and screaming. <laughs> but it's funny because when he got him back in, I didn't realise that the damage was extensive as we as, as originally impression. I thought he just stuck in the net and mm -hmm. he was going to be fine. But when you examined him, you, you found a bit more going on, didn't you? Well, it just shows you how an, another reason why you should always check when you release an animal from netting because do you remember all the netting had cut right into all his legs and had caused quite a nasty, I mean you could see the bone at one point, it was really, really nasty. But on top of that he had a broken leg so he had to go and see Michael for having a That's big really orthopaedic surgery doing. It's amazing off on that, didn't he? Again, another very lucky start yeah. in life. We, we, without intervention, that would have died within Definitely. within days, to be honest, within a turn. Go on. Oops. All your friends are in. Go on. Bye, sir. Go, you go like on. Him. Go now, sweetheart. You're Ooh, free. Dear. You're free. Well, the actual release day is always a great day for me. Although um, we did have one incident this year, do you remember? We did. One didn't want to go down the hole. No. In 34 years, they've all just gone woof, straight down the hole. And this one decided to go for a little run round. Come on, little badge. Hey, Twinkle. Good girl. There we are. How are we doing? In you go. Look, it's a new home. Go in your new home. Go on. No, in your new home. Go on, in your new home. 
Oh. OK. Never, ever happened. OK, she'll surf down and go. Go on, off you go. Yeah, that's a person. There's another person. Yeah. Round there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Down, down the hole. Down the hole. It's a new bedroom. Go on. Go on. Go on. And it all went well. I think the good thing for us, the great thing for us, is to see the footage that the guy used afterwards of seeing them all out playing. And obviously, we could see Tyler's Badger. But they're really having a great time, and I, you know, well, they'll stay there now. They might stay with that home and start another one, or they might just move off a little bit and, and dig a brand new set, which would be pretty phenomenal. It's lovely to see, though, isn't it? Because you know, all your hard work, all those things that we've done with for every single one, all those big stories. Yeah. And they're all free now, and starting the next generation of badges yeah, very this soon. Is fantastic to watch it tonight. So. Ready for next year now, will it be as early as February or will it be as yeah. late as June? Sweepstake, we always do a sweepstake every year, don't we? All the volunteers guess which date. I never date. get invited. Do you not? No, I never get invited. We'll make sure you do this year. But guess the date, when will we have badges coming First badger cut. Say when. But of course, Nobody's ever done a, a badger blood 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 transfusion. But of course, um, nobody's ever done a badger blood transfusion before. So they're expecting Mo to cut that there, so you yeah. don't silly on you. But of course, she won't. She will let that run in. No, no, she 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 will. If you like our videos, click on the subscribe button. Every new subscriber means we can save more wildlife. <laughs>